If you haven't done so, download the free Gin Mobile app from your app store. Log in once with your Gin number and last name and you're ready to go. Here we are going to focus on posting scores with stats. Let's start with the post score button, then choose hole by hole with stats. Then we search for and choose our course and set up our round with a number of holes. Select our tees, in this case the white. And we can select the score type, verify the date, and we're ready to proceed. Remember the app knows our course handicap of 22 and will adjust our scores for us. Select enter hole by hole score and we are at the first hole. The score feature is a slider across the top and defaults to par for the hole. Unfortunately, we started with the bogey five, so let's select the five, and then we enter our stats. We did only have two putts, but we missed the green in regulation, meaning on the green and par minus two or better. We did hit the fairway on our tee shot, so we mark that, and then we choose next hole. Hole two is a par three, so notice the fairway hit section is not an option. We hacked this hole up with a double bogey, on and two and a three putt which would look like this in the stats. Moving on to hole three, a par five, we recovered nicely and score a textbook par. We had two putts, were on the green in regulation and hit the fairway with a drive. Before we start the fourth hole, I want to point out a nice feature. If you are posting as you play and are worried about running out of battery, you can save your progress in the upper right corner, track stats on your scorecard and complete posting the score later. You'll see the prompt when you go back into score posting and complete your unfinished round. Let's fast forward to finish the round. On 16, we made bogey because we yanked our tee shot left into the rough stuff. So we can indicate this with the left arrow after selecting the X under fairway hit. Now we finish strong on 17 with a par. And let's score our eagle on 18. After we complete 18, we can review our round by swiping through the scorecard. If we look at hole 13, the hole we blew up on and scored an 11, we see the app automatically adjusted our score down to a net double bogey, in this case an 8. Now we hit post score and we are done! We immediately see a graphic summary of our round and can scroll down for more stats. These can be accessed anytime by clicking stats at the bottom of the app. When you click stats, you will start on your score history tab where you can see your recent scores and view the stats on the one you posted with stats, which are indicated by the down arrow to the right. Click the arrow to show the stats summary or click the round to view the graphic summary again. To view your cumulative stats, click the stats tab at the top and you see an average summary of all your stats. Choose from the drop down which group of scores you want summarized and they will instantly appear in graphic form. Be sure to watch the previous video, number three in the series, to learn about the other app functions. And as always, email us with any questions.